Hello, voters. This is Stanley Groth, your friendly neighborhood clerk, coming back to you live again. We have election coming up November 5th. Uh, it's a presidential election, general election, federal election. I want to talk to you a little bit about what to expect and uh, if there's anything new uh, actually going on with this election because not all elections are the same. Absentee ballots are out, so if you requested one, if you apply for one, uh, you should be getting one or you already gotten one. If you did apply and you didn't get your ballots, please contact our office. Could give us, you know, a week or so to make sure that the ballot will get to you. The uh, post office is doing okay, but they are they are a lot slower than they used to be. And so it takes a couple of days. Uh, the ballots went out last Thursday, so we've been receiving back already. So I guess they are out there. So the ballot will arrive to your house in this blue envelope. It looks like this. In that envelope, you will find a ballot. You will find instructions how to fill out your ballot. There's a secrecy sleeve that the ballot needs to be put in with the number of the ballot showing here. And this envelope does not close, they're not sealed. It's a secrecy uh, sleeve, so we can actually see the number without seeing how anybody voted. Once you fill out the ballot, there's a couple different ways to fill out the ballot in this election. One of the options that you will have, that the voters will have, is uh, so-called straight party voting. We'll put this on the screen for you, but every party that is on the ballot is listed here. And you can fill in the oval of the party of your choice, and every candidate, partisan candidate, from that party will receive your vote automatically. So you don't have to vote candidate by candidate by candidate. You can just vote straight party, whichever party you choose, fill that in, and those candidates from that party, every candidate will receive your vote automatically. However, the ballot is two-sided. There's, this is a sample ballot, so I can show you that. First side is uh, all the partisan races, presidential, local, state, and so on, uh, school, school boards. The second page, and you need to turn it over, so if you vote straight party, please remember that judicial candidates will not get your vote and the proposals will not get your vote. You have to vote this separate outside your straight party voting. So you have to turn this ballot over and select the judicial candidates one by one of your choice. And then there's a few proposals here. You have to vote those two. So please keep that in mind that the ballot is, has two sides. And straight party is an option, but it's convenient and it's safe, but you must vote that second page, judicial races and proposals. Once you get done with the ballot, of course, as I mentioned to you, you put this in, in the sleeve, secret sleeve, with the number showing here, and you put this envelope in the purple envelope. This has to be returned to us. You have to seal it, and it's, once you seal it, the glue is very strong on this envelope and you cannot, nobody can open it until the election day after 8 p.m. You put this in here, you put this in this envelope and you send this back to us. It's very important that you sign this envelope. We need your signatures to verify that it is who it is and it has to match the signature that we have on file on a computer and if it doesn't match you'll get a letter from us or a phone call that there's something going on here we want to clarify also make sure you date it so signature is very important date is very important and again please remember do not try to sign for someone else because we'll catch it 
we'll catch it and the consequences are not very nice. And, and I don't want to get anybody to get any trouble, but we check every signature that comes on the ballot uh, from you to us. So this must be returned, the absentee ballots must be returned to us by November 5th, 8 p.m. We must receive your ballot by 8 p.m. Anything that comes after that doesn't count. So please don't ruin your chances, don't spoil your ballot by not voting. I know your vote is very important to you, so please keep this in mind. You can still request absentee ballot, of course, there's an application like this. You can, you can get that from us at any time. You can call our office, clerk's office, and just, just tell us, hey, I want an application for absentee ballot, we'll send it to you. Again, it's very important that we have your signature. Doesn't require much on this at all. We have your signature and date of birth and date when you sign it. So this is our application. If you did not check off the box on the last application that you want to receive your ballot automatically, we're not going to send it to you. There's a little box here where it says that you want to receive your ballot from this day on. We put that in a computer in the next election you don't have to fill out the application for the ballot anymore. We'll send you the ballot automatically because we already have you on file that that's what you want us to do. Once you get done with the ballot, you fill it out, you sign it, you date it, there's a couple ways to deliver that ballot back to us. You can drop it in a post office box, mailbox, and you don't need a stamp. Everything is prepaid. You don't need to put a stamp anymore. The state is paying for the stamp. Or you can deposit this in any of our drop boxes. We have a couple of drop boxes throughout the township. One of them is the Activity Center on 21 Mayo and Hayes. Another drop box is located at Nature Center on Ryan Road. And please remember that both of these boxes are on camera, so when you depositing that ballot, everything is on camera to make sure that nothing going on with our drop boxes. Or you can drop it off here by the township, 24 Mile Boulevard. There's a green drop box there, you can deposit there. Or if you like to see our happy faces at our clerk's office, you can always come and see us. There's a drop box in the window. You can just deposit that from outside to the building, or you can come directly to the window, clerk's office window, and there's a drop box is there. You can just put that in there as well. This way, a lot of people do that. A lot of people love to walk their ballots all the way to a clerk's office window. This way they feel that absolutely 100% that their ballot was delivered. Now, the proposal that was passed by the voters gives the voters opportunity to vote early, and it's called in-person early voting. And of course, every community throughout the state has this, and we do too. We created a center, the old Piccarelli's restaurant on Van Dyke and 24 Mile Road. We created an early voting center the early voting will start October 26th, so and we'll put this on the camera so you'll see a little closer, including a couple weekends. We are open from October 26th to November 3rd, straight nine days, including Saturday and Sunday, a couple weekends. So again, you'll see this. This, is, this gives you opportunity to, to actually vote in person and watch your ballot go through the tabulator and you see your votes being counted right there. Plus, by doing this, you're avoiding possibilities of spoiling your ballot. If you return your ballot through absentee envelope and the ballot is spoiled, there's no way we know it or no way you will know it until the election day when we push these ballots to the computer uh, tabulator and we don't know 
who those ballots belong to anymore, and if they spoil, they won't count. However, if you early vote and you come in and push that ballot to tabulator and you make a mistake, that ballot will be rejected, returned back to you, and you can go back in line and receive another ballot and spoil the first one. So it's, it's kind of complicated, but information is very crucial, and I'm trying to give you as much as information as, as I can. The early voting will start at 8.30 to 4.30, nine days straight, starting October 26, which is Saturday, and then Sunday and nine days straight. Again, signatures are very important. We do verify the signatures. Without signatures, your ballot will not count. You'll get a letter from us on, or uh, if, this is why it's so important if you like to include your phone number or email on the application, it's very helpful to us because if you, if there's an issue with your ballot, we can contact you immediately by phone or email. We don't have to do the snail mail and you know, wait for another week or two weeks before it gets to you and back to us. But that's, that's very important. So this is all I have. I just want to touch on some of the stuff. November 5th is, is the election. The polls are open at 7 a.m. and it goes on to uh, 8 p.m. I encourage everyone, please vote. It's, it's very, very important. Every election is important. So is this one. Please take the time and, and exercise your uh, you're right, and uh, cast your ballot accordingly, choice of your candidates. So uh, any questions at any time, my office is always open. The door is always open for you. You can call us, and the number is 731-5102, or you can email us, or you can come see us at the window. Uh, a lot of people love to come and interact with us personally. We have very nice traffic at the window and I like it because this way any kind of rumors or any kind of confusions out there is immediately taken care of. So thank you so much and we'll see you on November 5th.